release that he can't get to. Yo, what is going on guys today? We're playing in HO18, and it is indeed the big day. Why do we only have 89 to 90 overalls? That is not cool. Not cool at all, EA. But it is our big day. One of the highly requested videos that I see all the time, mainly by the same person, Player92. But you know what? You gotta appreciate it. You gotta appreciate the dedication for him. And he's gotta know, being me, there is no way I could resist not doing this video at some point in time. And that is indeed a team of all. Zach Wierenskis. EA. That was just disrespectful. That was like, I built it all up and stuff. Got it really hyped up. And then EA didn't put Wierenski in the lineup in two spots, thinking he couldn't play center. To be fair, though, he does have a 65 on a faceoff, so it could be a good time. I also want to say, before we get too deep into this, if you guys remember the video we did yesterday with the Olympic teams, Canada, US, who could win the Olympics if there was NHL players in it. I'm going to bring it up that I completely didn't realize that my buddy Arcade Regimen did a video very similar to that. Not too long ago, had I known he made the video already, I probably wouldn't have done it myself, but because, you know, it's already over with, I would like you guys to go over there, check out Arcade Regimen's channel, go check out that video, I'll put the link in the description, he does a lot of videos kind of similar to mine with the whole win in one year thing, so like I said, check him out. Anyway, the official Zach Wierenski, though, is he the one playing center? Where's he? I've just seen a face of him. You can't do this to me. I wonder where the real Zach Wierenski's at. Oh, there's the OG Zach Wierenski. I'm on a second line. He's definitely a first line player. Here's the stats. We replicated him on every single player here. Him and his medium elite, even though we should be a franchise high here. We went with EA in their medium elite in their top four defensive role. Come on, EA. But Zach Wierenski, you guys see his stats. The guy's not the shooting type. I mean, he's got an 88 power, 81 accuracy, 87, 82 on both of those. So it's going to be tough to see him put up a lot of numbers as far as offense goes. He's still a two-way defender, and he's playing every single spot on the team. I got all the faith in the world in Wierenski, though. He's got quite a few goals this season. He's going to drop a 50-burger on one of these lines. It's all 86 overalls. He was nice enough, too. I think they did, at least. They upgraded him in overall. I thought he was 85 before. Maybe he's been an 86 all year. I should know this, but I don't. Still, though, the all 86s, I mean, no spoilers or anything. I just feel like this team's going to win. Stanley Cup already. But Wierenski couldn't play goalie, but you know who could? His good friend, Sergei Bobrovsky, and his second good friend, Jonas Corpusala. We had to use the Blue Jackets. We haven't used the Blue Jackets in such a long time as a team. Maybe that's why we haven't been winning the Cup. You guys ever think of that? We quit using the Blue Jackets and can we win the Cup in the first year, and all of a sudden, we don't win the Stanley Cup as much as we once did. Let's get to it, though. Let's get this season underway. The Blue Jackets are going to win the Stanley Cup. It's going to happen. I'm feeling good about it. Team's having a pretty solid season right now. And I just realized I got a message while I was doing the same. And I kind of remembered, like, hey, um, by the way, I haven't said this in a few videos in, like, way too many, to be honest. And that's the fact that that Revive Legacy on NHL, on HUT, on PS4, high in the leaderboards, that's not me. I have zero games played on PS4. Actually, I lied. I might have one game played in HUT. That's me, not the other guy. Revived underscore legacy. That's my PSN if you want to add it, you want to know. But the thing is, I hate it because the guy goes out there trying to pretend to be somebody. They try to screw people over, you know, all that fun stuff like that. So I always have to try to remind you guys every once in a while, remind you. I don't know why people are to do stuff like that. I don't get it. I mean, it's one thing to do it when you're like, just kind of like, eh, I just want to be, you know, take this guy's gamer tag for a good time. But when you do it to like benefit yourself to try to get free stuff and stuff like that, it bothers me. In his case, trying to steal people's stuff. But look at this team. 92 offense, 91 defense, 94 goal. I think it went up because we don't have them 270s in net anymore. Or not in net anymore, up in the middle. The Blue Jackets finished with 104 points on the season. Oh, Zach Wierenski led the team in points. I didn't see that one coming. 61 of them to be exact. 61 was both Zach Wierenski's that had the most points. 7 goals, 44 assists. That must have been a defenseman, Zach Wierenski. That's the real one. The real one only had 7 goals. Yeah, I don't appreciate that. We did not have a 30-goal Wierenski. We had a 25-goaler with 36 assists, and that was the top one on the team with his plus 17. Did we have anybody above a plus 17? Just one. A plus 18. Who was the dirty one on the Blue Jackets? 47, two-way D-man. Come on, Wierenski, yeah, stay out of the box, man. But look how disciplined he is besides that. For a 65 on a discipline, that just shows you how irrelevant the discipline stat is. Penalty minutes, points per game, shots. How many shots? Did we have a shooting Wierenski? Yeah, 227. Wierenski might get that many this year. He shoots a lot these days. And that also beautiful face-off percentage. The best one was 50%. I thought face-off stats mattered. Not too much, I guess. 50% for a guy with the five on face-offs. He didn't do too bad for a Wierenski. how the entire league look, though? The Metro... The Capitals had 106, 104 out of the Blue Jackets. Looks like we're going to play them Rangers in the first round, who also had 95 points, 94 out of the Devils, 93 out of those Pittsburgh, oh, 90 out of the Penguins. Learn how to read, bud. Second best team in the entire league. The LA Kings had a good season, 102 points. The Vegas Golden Knights, man, 102 points. They must have had a nice roster update. They got some better overalls over there on that team to come up there with 102 points. Then again, you never know. 
100 points out of the Preds, 96 out of the Panthers. Nice to see them having a good season over here. Not so hot right now in the actual NHL. The Blues, the Sharks, the Penguins just squeaked in. One point ahead of the New York Islanders. We missed that. As we expected, a tight Metro. 87 out of the Flyers. Worst team in the league was the Toronto Maple Leafs. I love it. 66 points, 68 points Maple Leafs. Edmonton's right there with you, though. Don't think you're tanking to get another Austin Matthews because Edmonton's in the running, and God forbid Edmonton would ever lose a draft lottery. So we know one thing. It won't be the Vancouver Canucks. They can't win a draft lottery to save their lives. All right, let's get this playoff season going now. Like I said, Rangers in the first round. I think we're going to be able to take care of them. I hope we take care of them. It has been rough lately. The last three, four videos, we are barely getting out of the first and second rounds. One video, we didn't even get out into the playoffs, but that was the team with all the old guys that were 35 over. We expected it. Two straight losses. Blue Jackets win on the road, I guess, because we lost three to one and three to one twice at home. I think EA just broke the game and they glitched it. Three to two win over there in New York. We got to pick up a W here. We can't lose three in a row. There we go. Another three to two. All the scores are the same. We're losing three to one. We're winning three to two. Hopefully, we see the three to two score here for that sake on this game right here. And we didn't, but we still won. 2-0 Blue Jackets. Big shutout by Bob. Great defense out of Wierenski, if I had to guess. Game number six is a Blue Jackets win. Thank you. We surrendered to. It didn't matter. Going into Washington, though, look at this. The Wawrenski bombs are real. 10 to 1 win. Game 1. 3 to 2 game 2. This is the best team in the league. We got them in the second round. We have a 2 to 1 lead. We don't want to see what happened to them Rangers, and that would be a semi reverse sweep. But there is a 5 bit 1 victory over them Capitals. Can we take it in 5 in Washington? First, we have to go to the right month. There we go. Game five is a 7-2 to loss. Blue Jackets just did not look pretty on that one. Come on, Bob. Let's go back in there. Make up for it. Big shutout win in game six. 3-2 to victory. The Blue Jackets are going to the conference finals. Right now, they are the best team left in the Stanley Cup playoffs. You'd assume they're a favorite. I mean, they were playing the Capitals. We all do expect the Capitals to lose in the playoffs in the second round anyway. So I guess it's not too big of a surprise. But the Tampa Bay Lightning are definitely a big matchup for us good defense though can they shut down kutrov and stamkos i think it can three to one in game number one game number two is a 4-2 victory we're taking care of them easily no fear at all in us winning this one i'm just just kidding four to one loss hey tampa bay has to win some to you guys it's all right game four is going to be a victory there it is four to two like we knew this was going to happen game number five can we take it from tampa bay we cannot three to two victory for tampa bay game six back in tampa bay the blue jackets do not want to have to go back home and risk losing a game seven so if we could just take it right now that would be perfect and we didn't we lost two to nothing we may lose three straight we can't afford to lose three straight we got to sideline these guys we scored zero goals last game so i think we're due for about a six goaler bob shutout bring us to the stanley cup promised land and get us a nice looking cup where could use a cup i think he's gonna get how many Wierenski's are on this team about 20, 20 of them in his career. That sounds about right. 20 Stanley Cups. He's only 20 right now. If he could play for the Blue Jackets 40 years, he could make 20 Stanley Cups happen. Anyway, let's go. Tampa Bay won. Blue Jackets nothing after the first period. Braden Point. That is not a Kucherov or a stamp goes. All right, period number two is over with, and it's still one nothing. The Blue Jackets, man, we can't get bounced like this. We was up 3-1 to one in the series. We got to win the game, boys. Come on. Do it for Zach. I don't know who's going to be taking the shots on their team, but I can tell you right now, we're going to have a lot of Zach Wierenski shots on our team. Look at that. Almost every time. Giardi's getting shots on Bob. Come on, power play Blue Jackets. Put one in the back of the net. Please and not so thank you. 14 minutes left in the game. We still need one goal. We're all over the Tampa Bay Lightning right now. They have two shots the entire period. Opposed to the Blue Jackets, about nine shots. Oh, there's a third shot. Keep him out of the zone. Point blank range save. Sergei Bobrovsky. He's standing on his head for the team. We need to help him out and get a goal there's only five minutes left and it's not happening come on Wierenski let's get us a puck in the back of the net we can't afford to do this don't do this to us two minutes left we're going to pull the goalie here in a second can we score with a pulled goalie the game is over a three to one series lead and the team of all Zach Wierenski's it just doesn't look like they can do it what a disappointing way to leave 42 shots to 31 42 save shutout by Vasilevsky, you gotta honor the guy for the way he just played out there in that game seven. Carried the team. Two straight shutouts out of Vasilevsky. I mean, as salty as I am that we didn't beat him, he went out there and had an amazing performance in Tampa Bay Lightning. That's unfortunate. People out there and lose like that. Did the Lightning win the Stanley Cup at least? Make me feel a little bit better about the situation. Man, that is unfortunate though. We was on fire. The St. Louis Blues. Talk about teams that have been in the playoffs for like 40 straight years and can't win a cup. They finally went out there and got one. Nice to see the Blues do that. Otherwise, that's it. We lost once again. Unfortunate. Blue Jackets, how we do it every single time. I don't know. That was our game. 
that was our turn to win it. We had it. We was up three to one, Tampa Bay, and just could not get it done. The Ross Stammer Clef. Oh, the Hart Memorial went to Mike Hoffman. You just don't see that every day. James Norris with the Dowdy. Okay, so I'm taking it. We got no. Oh, we did. We got a Calder, obviously. But we're not getting any other. Oh, Bobrovsky got the William Jennings. He went out there and had a great season, I guess. But other than that, I don't see us getting anything else. And maybe the late Selkie, but we didn't even get the Selkie. Otherwise, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.